I'm Rod Judkins and I'd like to tell you about my book, The Art of Creative Thinking. What makes someone creative? How are the creative able to face an empty page, a blank canvas or a bare stage and create something when nothing existed before? To take the opportunities others are missing. Creativity isn't mysterious, it can be learnt. I teach creative thinking at the world's most innovative art college, Central St Martins. I have seen how creative thinking has benefited students like fashion designers Alexander McQueen, John Galliano, Stella McCartney, actor John Hurt, artist Lucian Freud, product designer James Dyson, film director Mike Lee, and musicians Joe Strummer of The Clash and Glenn Matlock of The Sex Pistols. The art of creative thinking explains counterintuitive methods. It's good for a businessman to be bad at maths. Entrepreneur Richard Branson's poor math skills made him a better businessman. He couldn't grasp the basic finances of his company Virgin, so he focused on the big ideas and concepts. Another chapter explains a technique that leads us down new, original and unexpected avenues. The Beatles used this method to constantly break new ground. The technique shows us how to view every aspect of our lives and work as an experiment. One chapter explains how we can use rejection to our advantage. Rather than be crushed by rejection, it can be used to elevate you in your work. Stephen King's book Carrie was rejected 30 times by publishers, but he improved it each time and resubmitted it. Many successful entrepreneurs and creative people appear to be visionaries with a crystal ball. They are not. The book explains how they used a method that put them ahead of everyone else. Artists like Keith Haring and entrepreneurs like Ted Turner, who created CNN, used it to predict future trends. The Art of Creative Thinking shows you 89 ways to see things differently. It reveals a deeper benefit to creative thinking, that it empowers people to live the lives they want to live. The designers spent their lives designing, the writers writing and the composers composing. They were able to fulfil their potential. People are pressurised into pleasing their parents, their partner or their boss. Suddenly they discover their lives have passed them by and they haven't done the things they really wanted to. The Art of Creative Thinking explains how to overcome creative blocks, start a project or begin a creative career, how to breathe life into a project or career that has gone stale and much more. It makes the techniques of successful creative people available to everyone. What emerges from the Art of Creative Thinking is that there are simple step-by-step -step methods that we can all use in our everyday lives to grasp the opportunities we are missing.